Hi everybody, this is Diane. Look what I got in the mail today. Look at this beautiful box. It um, came with brown paper covering the top of it so she could put the address and stuff on it. It's just beautiful. I love maps and I love pink. And those, this is gorgeous, whatever this is. It's large <coughs> piece of poppy decorating the front. So I, this is from Sharon in North Carolina. Thank you, Sharon. I can't wait to see what's in here. I already slid it open, as you can see. So I'm just gonna get the large box out of the way. Look at all the fun stuff. Oh my goodness. These little foam balls. It's just, it's a party inside this box. Thanks for the party, Sharon. Oh, it, it looks fun already. It looks fun. I'm just going to pull stuff out. I can get the box out of the way. <laughs> oh, it looks like a lot of fun stuff in here, Sharon. She said she enjoyed seeing happy mails that I recently got. Lift my spirits, and she wanted to help, too. So. <laughs> what a sweetheart. Okay, now we can get into this stuff, see what's in here. She said there is a note wrapped up in one of the goodies, so we'll, we'll come across it. Let's look at this Ziploc bag first. Um, well, I don't know what it is. I think they're all together, all those colors. Let's try to get into it and see. Let me turn this so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, it's braided. Isn't that cool? I love that, and it looks vintage too. That is awesome. I kind of want to make a, like a groovy 70s journal. That would be cool in that. And we've got some loopy fringe trim. I know right where this is going to go since I just organized my room. I've got a basket labeled fringy trim, fringe and tassels. So this will go right in there until I get around to using it. That would also be great in a funky 70s journal, wouldn't it? That is bright and fun. Love it. It's soft. Um, this is stiff and rough, and this is soft. envelope, airmail envelope, so they're very lightweight. Love them. Yeah, they'll be really nice in journals. Well, this is a card with a window. That will be fun to make something with. Won't that be fun to embellish? And then the envelopes to go with it. Oh, thank you. I'll have fun with those. There's a Da Vinci, I forgot what that image is called. But it's on this kind of a, looks like a coffee dyed envelope, but it's not coffee dyed. It's really cool. So she sent me a couple of those, three of those. And then a long, tall envelope. Two of them. Can't wait to decorate those. That'll be fun. Oh my goodness. Snakeskin stuff. And... Looks like leather. I don't think it's real leather, but it's got felt on the back. There's a red snake skin. How cool is that? And a orange. Maybe that's ostrich skin or something like that. It's not real, you know, just the, just the pattern. And a gold, kind of a dulled gold. It's green on the back. 
Ooh, I'm going to have to think of what I can do with these. There's a blue marbled teal. Beautiful. And a silver. And a white patent leather kind of look to it. Fun, fun, fun. And I like this clip, too, that she had on them. Then we have this very wide lace. That would be an excellent pocket. Aww. Heart-shaped doily. Cream and pink. I was looking to see if this would make a good journal cover decoration. It's really pretty and sweet and looks vintage. Looks like a Battenberg doily. Oh, how pretty. Usually, um, I think a lot of the Battenbergs have a solid cloth center, so this is really interesting. I like that. And a crocheted oblong doily. That's cool. This would definitely be nice in a journal or on the cover. Beautiful. Nice shape. Got some fabric. Mulberry Home, it says. So it's a swatch of a fabric sample. Look at that tropical setting with the birds on it. That's awesome. It's got the ring in the center, big eyelet. Cool. I'll have to think of something to do with that. That's the fun thing. When you get Happy Mail, it might not be something that you would look for. And it's unusual stuff that you don't find. And then it stirs your imagination to think of what you can do with it. This is beautiful. I love the watercolory background. And then this, in, um, I guess it's embossed on there. The metallic look. Boho journals. Beautiful. I still have a lot of boho materials, so I do need to make some more. So this will be beautiful in one, or more than one that's a big piece. Oh, well, that's an interesting piece of textile fabric. I like that. I like that it comes with the card, too. I love houses. I love houses, uh, images of houses. And this is country houses with flowers and quilts hanging on the, on the fences. Beautiful. This is fun. This is quilt sale there. Beautiful. Reminds me of Lancaster. I want to see what these are. There's a peach pico ribbon that I can use. Satin ribbon with the pico edge. Well, that is a cool way to wrap up. Looks like a wallpaper border, but this is a sample of fabric. I love that. It's on a card. It would fold right into a journal. That is so awesome. And even the back is pretty. Thank you. Looks like she has something wrapped around each of those pieces of paper in there. So, oh my, oh, there's more than one. Look how beautiful that is. There's a bird and flowers. That is a gorgeous piece of wallpaper border. And this must be the wallpaper that went with it. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. Thank you. I've been using my wallpapers more, so 
I like having a nice variety. This one has a lavender wider satin ribbon. And again, oh, I didn't even realize the fabric sample goes with this. <laughs> I just realized that because it does here too. This fabric sample goes with this wallpaper border, which goes with this wallpaper. Well, that is pretty awesome. Lilacs. Beautiful. These are fun. So I can make journals that include all of the... Oh, and look at the stripe, too. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I'll make a journal that would have all of these elements in it. And the lavender ribbon, too. Beautiful. This one looks fun. I love how you match the trims to go with the, not just the colors, but the feel, because this is a fun, playful, woven trim in red, and it's a child-themed border. Isn't that fun? That is so cute. And then we have Teddy Bear with some bunting in the alphabet. That's adorable. And I love this. So it's the bunting. So it would go this way on the wall. What a fun children's room that would have made. <laughs> I'm appreciating how you wrapped everything. I know it takes time to do this. And another um, children's themed set and it's got um, pink polka dot grow green ribbon it's the same as this just different colors they're great I love them I love all those vintage toys oh it's got alphabet on it Oh, that's adorable. And I love this. These are wonderful colors. I can't wait to use these. I'm firing up my imagination. Ledger paper, it looks like, tied with a green satin pico ribbon. Yes. Long ledger paper. Thank you. I love ledger. love using ledger. I can use this nice bag, too. It's a nice thick bag. I'll use it for something. And some paint brushes. Create your own sunshine. Believe in yourself. No bad days, and you've got this. Aw, thank you. And I love the colors. Thank you. That is so sweet and very inspirational. Good reminders. And now I have the two tissue wrap packages to open. There's my note. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. She looks for my videos daily. I don't get them up quite every day, but I'm doing pretty good. She's been watching my channel for two years at least. <laughs> she said the first comment she ever made on my videos was about how calming my voice is. And it has done her heart good to put together some goodies for me. Well, thank you. Sometimes we all need uplifting and support, myself included. Aw, thank you, honey. She said I can share any of these items or put them in my shop if I already have some. That's very generous of you. I love that, dear. Oh, 
This ribbon is beautiful. It's got the Pico edging, but it's sheer with some stripes in it. Beautiful. And look at this gorgeous fabric. Oh, it's a journal. Oh, oh, I can't wait to look at that. Let's look at the fabric first. But isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Thank you. Beautiful. It's Those are like embroidered on there. Well, it's tapestry-like. It's really pretty. I'm going to open this package before I go through the journal. I can't believe you made me a journal. This is a Stampin' Up! stamp box. Look at the owl. A snowy owl. Oh, that is so cute. She knows I like owls. Oh, look at all the fun stuff in there. Doilies. And these are not just white ones. They're pretty. Uh, colored ones and patterned ones looks like. So we've got some yellow. It's green. That's different. It's teal. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. Ooh, two of them got in there. And these I think are from a dye. Green polka dot. And some pink and some purple. A couple shades more of a green polka dot and some red. Really neat. What a nice selection of colors. And I've got some Tim Holtz paper dolls. Now I have Tim Holtz paper dolls, but some of these look like ones that I don't have. I know that I think he did a, another set that had some of the same ones, like this little dancing girl, and some that were different, because I don't know that I have some of these. So that's fun. I just got to start using them again. I did use them. Sometimes we have so much stuff that we forget to use some of them. Yeah, I don't remember having these. Oh, I love her. Very fun. Like him too. Looks like he's got it all together. Oh, look at it. It's a little sunbonnet, Sue. So it's a little applique. How cute. I love that. Look at her little purse. And some lace appliques. I love using these. In fact, I just used some lace appliques in the journals that I'm just about done with. These kind of look like the Reset Girl stickers, but I don't know if they are. I'm going to have to cut that, I think. There we go. Embrace the day. They're not stickers, they're die cuts. I love the colors. Six cents. Fresh and hot coffee. These will be really fun to collage with. Look at that aqua colored Payphone. Theater ticket. I just love the aqua and the pink. Or teal and pink. Whatever you want to call it. Love these ladies. <laughs> Five and dime. Seven up. Oh, I love these. I can't wait. I'm going to use these in my very own personal collage. 
notebook journal. I've got some really pretty turquoise and teal and blue flowers and then some lavender and purple and hot pink flowers. Looks like some playing cards here. They're different. I like that color. These are really fun. I like them. And how pretty. Thank you. I'm always, playing cards always catch my eye. Some little note cards that are really fun. I could put some of those, these fun things on the fronts of these. Um, Where words fail, music speaks. Isn't that a wonderful quote? I love music. It's a Hans Christian Andersen quote. I think I have a stamp that has that on it. The earth has music for those who listen. Nocturnes, Frederick Chopin. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. I can save these for a music journal that I want to make. Melody of Life. These are really pretty and I love the soft, subtle colors. Oh, look at these fun recipe cards. They're watermelons. They are so fun. I love them. And some blue um, dividers, the nice, really sturdy ones. And some more recipe cards with more watermelon featured along with some peas and radishes and peppers. Let's get creative. Oh, what a nice postcard. I love that. And hello. These are wonderful postcards. You rule. And then this one is Sunbonnet Sue quilt and a wedding ring quilt. Is that a double wedding, wedding ring quilt? Love those postcards. And oh, these are these are napkins. I thought it was a fabric. And these will be wonderful in a Christmas journal, won't they? He's wearing a tartan hat and uh, holly leaves and berries and. These are so fun. I love these owls. They're, he's He's got character, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to put some of this stuff back in here. And look at what's in that little divided tray there. And then we'll go through the journal. And it's nice that I've just cleaned my room all up so I know right where to put all of this stuff. I can put it away quickly and be ready to use it. So what's in here? I like the little tray. We've got some paper clips. Aren't they cool? Love that. We have a key and a lock. We have some buttons, heart-shaped. Oh, this one's pretty. And flower-shaped. And some other ones. Those are the brown ones. And then we have some colored buttons here. Really pretty colors. Here we have an airplane. And a bow and arrow. Charm. And these look like little buckles. I can thread ribbon through them or something. Make something fun with them. And these little 
hangy things. I have to figure out what I can do with them. I think I can attach it to the spine and hang a, a tassel or a dangle off it. I guess I already figured out what I can do with them. And these, I don't know what they're called. But I, I know what I can do with them too. Ooh, look at these little vials. With a little cork top. There's two of them in there. Some breads. And some book plates. And some bulb pins. Lots of fun things in this little tray. Thank you. And they're all things that we junk journalers use. Thank you so much. Now let's take a look at this journal. I love the collaged front on it. And I love the color of this ribbon. Look at this. <coughs> Pleated fabric. Beautiful. I love these colors. It's got paper. It's like... I don't know what that is. Some kind of a trim. This velvet ribbon is gathered up there. The stamp. I love every piece on here. The mushrooms. The lady, of course. Looks like a piece of coffee dyed patterned cardstock that she tore and then put on as a tuck spot for this little card. The back background, that's pretty. And the pleated fabric is on the back also. Wow, I'm already impressed and I've, and I've just seen the cover. By the way, she does have a channel, <coughs> a YouTube channel. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will link it below. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got some water here. The name of her channel is So Vintage. Oh, it's got, I think it's got three words, but So Vintage is part of it. So anyway, I did, I did, I am a, I have subscribed to her, and um, so I'm going to link her her um, channel below. I don't know why I can't talk right now. <clears throat> but I will link her channel so you can check out her channel. And please subscribe. Look at this. Um, Edith Holden paper. And she made this little folded tuck spot here. And look at this. Those are stickers of ferns, but they're inside acetate. And she sewed around it and then tied this on the corner. That is lovely. Thank you. There's a piece of vellum here. Polka dot. Let me zoom in a little bit. Some polka dot paper. And I love this. It's like, I was going to say it's like you picked the colors just for me, but I think you did. Because it's just beautiful. The colors are, are I love them. And this is torn here and inked. And then this is a piece of wallpaper. And she stamped on the back of it. Looks like a wallpaper border. The colors, just everything goes so beautifully. There's some more wallpaper border. This looks like Tim Holtz paper. And this is a book about birds. More Tim Holtz paper, like that image. Oh, that's fun. This is part of a paper, a brown paper bag, and she just did some fancy stitching on it. Beautiful wallpaper. And look at the stitching there. Makes two little pockets here. <clears throat> oh, how fun. This looks like vintage ledger. She folded it up so that it makes a pocket and then folded it to make a little pamphlet. 
and then it's um, paint chip with some music on it that she tucked in there. But I could open this right up and journal on it. And then the same with a different color paint chip. Love that idea. This is from a book. Wonder if, I wonder if it was for a dollhouse book or something. It's telling how to make a pediment for an 18th century mantle. There's a little pattern there. Oh, how pretty. This looks like a mushroom field guide page. Beautiful. Love the colors. What is it about mushrooms? I don't know, but I love them. I don't eat them, but I like to look at them. Maybe this is um, a fly leaf from a book page. I don't know, but it's torn and inked. This is just beautifully done. Edith Holden page. I'm so glad I get to keep this journal. This looks like typing paper, vintage typing paper. And then this page was turned into a pocket. And there's a map inside. I think she knows that I like maps. Because she decorated my box with maps. This is really interesting. I don't know what kind of paper that is. Wallpaper border. Beautiful. I don't know where you get all your wallpaper borders. Some pretty birds. This looks like um, a children's book. This is kind of textured with a wood grain. This is stapled on, this little bit of wallpaper. And this is about doing embroidery stitches, it looks like. Another map page. one of those cool paper clips. She just took this um, piece of cardstock and wrapped it around there. But look at the stitching she did around that. I have to see if she has a video of this journal on her channel. Maybe she'll put it put one up after she knows I've gotten this. More Edith Holden paper. And it's got an acetate pocket. Oh, she gave me the Edith Holden mushrooms. Beautiful. And she tied some yarn onto this paint chip. Put some ledger on the back. And I love how you collaged some Tim Holtz paper with the Edith Holden paper to make the page long enough, wide enough. There's some green polka dot paper as a pocket and some butterfly. Oh, she stamped on the back. Butterfly card stuck. We're on the back side of all the papers now. There's another piece of wallpaper that is stapled on. I love that. And this is just some paper that she stamped on. Just some subtle stamping. I can journal on that. Beautiful. Like that. It's fun. A fun element. There's that fun paper clip. She gave me one of those in my little box. And again, this is folded around, stamped, and she punched a hole and added some ribbon to it. That's a neat idea. Oh, look at this. This is a book page. Looks like the back part of a book page because it looks like an index. And it's reinforced, I think. And then it's got all these little flags. 
sewn on. How fun. That looks like a lot of work and they're all inked. Wow, that was a lot of work, Sharon. I like that, that's very unique. And then in the back, there's again, um, music paper here and the coffee dyed patterned cardstock which is torn and made into a tuck spot and there's a piece of map paper this is pat um scrapbook paper i think which is stamped on the back she put a lot of work into this and more of the flags that she put into a circle how cool look at the fun stitching she did around it really fun elements Sharon thank you so much you've given us ideas I think I know you've given me ideas on things that I can do a little bit differently so thank you I love this journal it's just perfect and it does include a lot of elements that I like and a lot of fun and new things I like the idea of the pleated fabric on the edge instead of lace I usually put lace but I really like that. And I like that you fold it up. This looks like it was hard to sew because it's quite thick when you fold it up. This piece of velvet. And I love the color combination that you used. There's just so much to love about this journal. Thank you so much, Sharon, for this and for everything you sent me. And especially for your kind words and warm thoughts. And thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. And I hope everybody will go and check out her channel. Remember, I'm going to link it below. So go look for her channel and give her some love. Tell her I sent you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.